Living well is the best revenge. Well, that's a lie. What? The best revenge is, in fact, the best revenge. Anyone who tells you otherwise has likely done something quite terrible themselves. I don't think that's true. Oh, really? Tell me this. Who benefits from the idea of forgiveness? Is it the perpetrator or the victim? Ideally both. Of course. What am I thinking? By not seeking retribution against a wrongdoer, you get to be the better person. An entirely imaginary, frankly ingenious consolation prize. Well done, you. Look, I see what you're saying, but the fact remains that holding on to anger or resentment is poisonous. I couldn't agree more. Okay, great. So, resentment is poisonous because resentful people want to do something and don't. Day after day, they are reminded of their own inadequacy, that they are either unable to act or are simply too afraid to do so. Which one are you, I wonder? I'm neither. Really? I'm not saying we can't take action. I'm saying that there are proper ways to do so. Proper ways to channel our sense of injustice, like the justice system. Now, why didn't I remember that? Thank God that everything legal is moral and everything illegal is immoral. How convenient. It's not perfect, but it's a start. And what happens when the government or laws are corrupt? What will you do then? None of this changes the fact that revenge doesn't go anywhere. An eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. Frankly, that's an excellent argument for disproportionate retaliation. Think about it. If there is a man going around taking eyes and no one does anything, soon the whole world will indeed be blind except for one man. That does not sound like an improvement to me. So in your mind, what's the difference between revenge and justice? Opinion. One pretends to be impartial and objective, the other is a lot more honest. I disagree, there's more to it than that. Justice, proper justice, is about building a better world for everyone, whereas revenge only wants to destroy. I think you'll find it's often a very necessary part of the process. I don't like how angry you are. Is anger truly such a terrible thing? I am necessary. I tell you when something is wrong. To deny me is to deny your very humanity. It is far better to turn an enemy into a friend rather than destroy them. But that kind of answer is unacceptable to you. You are not the answer. But I am a part of it, an integral part of it, and you ignore me at your peril. If you repress me, trust me, I will find a way to emerge. So what'll it be? Will you work with me or against me?